Hey everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review and today I've got a product from Tomoko. This is their T7 PC gaming mouse. You can check this mouse out on Amazon at the time of this video for $17.99. And as always, I will have that link in the description below where you guys can check it out. Uh, the box itself is just a plain box here. They do have a SKU on here of GEP. C034AB. I don't know if you'll need that or not, uh, but it's, uh, you know, information to have. Now, this will do up to 7200 DPI. Uh, you can add macros to this via software. Now, they don't include it in the box. You have to go to their website and download it. I've done that, and I will show you what it looks like a little bit later in this review. So, let's get the box open and show you what the mouse looks like, and I can show you some of the things uh, or at least effects that the mouse does uh, until we hook it up to the PC. Uh, and basically what you're going to get here is obviously your USB connected wired mouse. And we will undo this here. Uh, fairly nice long cable on this as well. And I do like the build quality on this. Uh, this T, uh, apparently they have it as uh, not as Tomoko, but as Thunderbird under their website. And it is the T7. Uh, so when you do go to their website, you're going to want to download the 1.0.5 software for the T7 wired gaming mouse. Uh, looking through the manual really quickly. Uh, the website you're going to want to go to is http www.etpc.cn and then you can just go to support. They do have an English side and a Chinese side. You'll go to the English side if, unless you read Chinese, then you can go to that side. Uh, and then you'll download the drivers for the T7 mouse. And again, I'll show you that on a different screen here in just a second so that we can uh, show you how you can actually go through uh, some of the advanced settings. Now, some of the basic settings on this, the DPI uh, will be from 1200 to 7200. You can switch that plug and play. You have your DPI up and down buttons right here. Uh, and the mouse does light up. It is a, a default of a breathing light that will change when you change uh, the DPI settings. Uh, so it is uh, compatible with Windows XP and above. It will work plug and play on Mac, but there are no, there is no software for Mac, so you can't get into any of the advanced settings. And I'll go into those in just a few moments. Now you can adjust your polling rate uh, from 125 hertz all the way to 1,000 hertz, so you have that option in your advanced settings. Uh, you have five groups of DPI settings that you can choose. Uh, your adjustable DPI range can range from 500 to 7200 in the program. Now this is kind of a screenshot of what the program will look like. Uh, and they've got a few more here. You can actually uh, program macros into this, automatic recording time delay, cycle until button is repressed um, uh, or released or pressed, uh, uh, specified cycle times and inserting in events. Now you can program those with the with the program under Windows and I'll show you that as well. So you can program macros if you like to use macros or you are a fan of macros. So again, here they just tell you to go to their website, then go to support, then go to T7 version 1.05 for the ETT7. That is this mouse here. So let's um, plug this in real quick. Uh, I have a cable that I can plug this into and this will kind of show you uh, the lighting effect on this particular mouse. Now I'm going to turn the lights down for just a second. And as you can see, it's a slow breathing light. Uh, right now it's kind of a purplish, but as I switch DPIs, it will switch over. And this is the normal mode that you'll get with the mouse. Uh, it'll switch colors when you switch DPI and it is a breathing effect. Now you can under the actual program, you can make it a steady light so it doesn't do the breathing. You can have it flicker. Uh, you can have it breathe like this for anywhere from, I think it's four seconds all the way to uh, like 10 seconds. So it'll be a slower breathing or a faster breathing, depending on, you can change the colors uh, and let them stay at whatever, um, you know, color that you like. Now on this mouse, uh, it's got this really nice uh, grip here. It's more obviously meant for a right-handed person than a left-handed person. There are no buttons on the right-hand side of the mouse. Uh, the scroll wheel is very nice. I like the scroll wheel here. Uh, it acts as a mouse button too, and you get some nice uh, action on both sides as far as this goes uh, for the buttons. 
Uh, and I kind of like the surface on this as well. It's going to be a little bit, it's not like a matte surface, although it does look matte. It feels a little bit more slick than that. But overall, they did a good job on the ergonomics. Now, where this is going to come in to play is the fact that you can go and you can set it up on your PC, which I'm going to do right now. And then we'll be right back. I'll get this stuff out of the way. Uh, to close out the review, but I do want to show you the program and show you some of the features that you can do with the program. Okay, so this is the program that you get with the mouse itself, the T7 wired gaming mouse, as you can see. Uh, you can pretty much change all the buttons on here. Uh, you have three different modes that you can set for key settings so that you will uh, be able to, uh, you know, uh, configure the key settings the way you want to and then actually change the modes uh, if you have different games or different programs that you're using. Uh, you have different profiles down here as well so you can set everything up uh, as far as your parameters. Uh, you've got your polling rate here all the way to a thousand hertz. If I want to change that polling rate to 500 I just click apply and it takes a second to go to the mouse and then now I'm at a 500 hertz polling rate. Your mouse sensitivity uh, you can change that all around from all the way to uh, zero to it looks like uh, 28 or 18 looks like the highest. I like to leave it on 18. I'm just going to apply it there. Uh, and then you have your scrolling speed. You can change that. You can do scroll one page. You can do double click speed. It's set at 550 right now. Uh, and you can set that all the way up to uh, 830. You know, so I'm going to leave it right around 550. I found that to be pretty good. Now, here's an advanced tab up at the top that you can do. And this is where you can get into your DPI settings, what color uh, you want them to be. Uh, you can set the mouse color to anything that you would like it to be. So right now, the DPI when it's in 500 is this red color here. And if I want to make that, say, a... Uh, like a light bluish, I can say OK and I can apply it. And now it's going to be this lavender blue. And as you can see, you can pretty much make the lighting accent anything that you want for each polling rate. And if you have a problem when you're messing with any of these, you can always go to restore down here in the right hand corner and you can restore it and it will restore everything back to factory and you'll be good to go. So you don't have to worry about messing anything up. Now on the right, you're also gonna have some more LED settings. You can make this steady. Like, it's, like I said before, it's kind of at this breathing light uh, type thing where it goes in and out. Uh, you can actually make this steady and you can justify, uh, you can just adjust the brightness to uh, anywhere from 5% all the way up to 100%. So let's put it on like 25% and then apply it. And you're going to notice that the uh, mouse LED is a lot less than it would be if we were at, say, 100%. Now, it's not a huge difference, to be honest. Um, if we go to 100%, you're going to see that it's a lot, I think it's a lot brighter, but it's going to be kind of hard to see on the camera. So anyway, you can set the breathing with the breathing speed. You can do blink, uh, you can do steady and then effects and you have effects like uh, breathing, steady or neon and you can adjust those speeds as well. So if we want to do any of that, we can do that too. Now macros also are included here and you can actually uh, start recording to make a macro automatic recording time delays cycle until the key is released cycle until any key is pressed um, you can specify cycle times you can insert events uh, out of your items or macro list you can make new macros here you can name them so if i just want to name this gfg uh, you know i can actually uh, start recording and modify it, do whatever I need to do. I'm going to delete it out of there because that's obviously not what I want. But you can do a, a, a wide variety of macro settings on this, uh, which is excellent. Uh, other than going back to main and just resetting the buttons, like if I want my left button to be a right button, I can make it right button or forward or back or the DPI up or loop. Uh, RGB on or off. I can, you know, make this a fire key. I can do multimedia keys, uh, you know, uh, key combinations, or you can link a macro to an individual key, like your four and five side keys. You can actually link those, or even even your one or three, your left and right mouse button. You can link them to macros, or you can disable the key altogether. So you've got all of those options in here, and I think they did an excellent job. So let me take it back to the end of the review and we'll pick it up from there. 
So that was my review of the Tomoko T7 PC gaming mouse. I really like uh, a lot of things about this mouse, including once you bundle it with the program that you can change your polling rate, you can change, uh, you can add macros to it, you can change the way the lighting looks. Uh, out of the box, it will work just fine, and you do have preset DPIs, so that's great if you don't want to get involved with the extra program, but the program's easy enough to download. Uh, and the price is right at $17.99 at the time of this video. Uh, it's a decent gaming mouse that has some macro ability. Uh, you can reprogram all the buttons to whatever you would like them to through that program, uh, and it's simple to get. So this was Luke, again, from Galaxy Tech Review. You will have that link in uh, for this mouse in Amazon down below. If you have any questions or comments about this mouse, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Remember to like and subscribe, and I will check you guys out on the next video.